Hello. In 2017, I participated in a school event and won this huge book through the lottery. It is a photographic book about Solon, a region I had never even heard of previously. After flipping through it multiple times and contemplating the rich and lustrous colors of Solon's landscape, considering the beautiful remote French towns that are shown, I had come to the conclusion that I have no interest in ever going there. Or maybe I would if someone paid me to do so. But while waiting for that person to show up, I don't think I'd ever intentionally travel to Solon and I blame it entirely on this book. Though I am no professional photographer, I can at least confidently say that this book is far from perfect. Some of the pictures are blurry, some others are pixelated, and some of them are just honestly bad, badly framed and badly taken. Yet they still chose to print them. But most importantly, the biggest default of this book is how forgettable they make Solon out to be. Great, this place has lakes and forests and wild animals, just like any other European countryside, is the conclusion that I had unfortunately arrived at after two weeks of painting off of this book. The pictures are soothing and the nature is refreshing, but the book is entirely uninspired and unremarkable. Which is why I am glad to have thought of rendering this heavy block of paper useful by painting it. The authors, Gérard Pardon and Charliel, might not have made a good photography book, but I think they still managed to create a decent reference book. Besides, I've always liked painting trees and this book is full of them. It was incredibly therapeutic to paint trees, as always. So free and formless, open to interpretations. However, though it was so fun to draw, I regret not having taken more time for each tree, put more attention into each branch and each leaf and made more effort to draw a greater variety of trees. If I were to do this all over again, I would want to control my brush strokes better and paint with more intention, rather than simply letting myself go through the relaxing motion of painting trees. One of the paintings that I'm more proud of are of the wild animals toward the end. I don't draw animals very often and was actually surprised I could freehand them somewhat decently. The deer look kind of goofy, the birds look so chubby, and the rabbits look really cartoonish. I still have so much to learn and improve, but I do want to remember that they still look better than if I hadn't drawn them at all. I don't draw landscapes often either, so I found this project to be a great learning experience. I did struggle quite a bit with perspectives, but thankfully the paper format was quite small and thus forgiving. As you might have heard from my previous videos, I've been desperately trying to give an environment for my characters to live in, so I hope that these 40 paintings will help me create a world and tell a story in my future illustrations. But most importantly, I want to talk to you about the colour I chose for this project. Sennelier's number 341, Phtalo Turquoise. I absolutely love this rich green-blue colour. I actually love it so much that I accidentally bought it twice on two separate occasions. So I definitely enjoy using this single beautiful colour throughout. I've always wanted to try making monochromatic paintings as well, and it was just so much fun. 
it was definitely nice not having to think about color coordination or fearing that different colors would smear over each other creating an ugly muddy mess. I certainly don't want this to be the last time I do monochrome and I am already eager to create even more monochromatic illustrations with other colors depicting different settings, objects and situations in 2021. Thank you for having spent time with me. If you enjoyed this video, you might want to check out my website for high resolution scans of each and every single penny. It is absolutely wonderful to see all of them together as a cohesive series of illustrations and I hope that you would click on that link in the description to see it. I would gladly do my own photographic book of Solun if somebody could pay me for a month long trip there. If you want to support me otherwise, please check out my Redbubble shop where you can find all sorts of things with these soothing monochromatic illustrations printed on them. As usual, if you're interested in my art, say hello to me on Instagram and DeVintart. All the links are always in the descriptions. If you are watching this video on the day is out, meaning the 25th of December, I hope that you and your family had a delightful Christmas and I wish you all a happy new year. And finally, <laughs> if you want to see more of me, do feel free to subscribe and I'll see you in 2021.